Hey everybody, what's going on? PB Crisps 84 here. You guys remember Planters PB Crisps? They were pretty good. I'm sure if they ever reintroduce PB Crisps to the masses, there will be soy lecithin in included, which is a travesty and a shame because that stuff is too prevalent. Prevalent. In the uh, SAD, Standard Depressing American Diet. So, uh, what do we got today? Well, you already know. Uh, we have uh, Samba D Amigo in the system right now, but um, I got the Cha Cha Amigo controller, and I, I thought we were going to be done talking about Samba D Amigo, but um, I had to just go ahead and get my hands on a set of this because um, these are kind of rare. And I got them for an okay price. Got them from Mexico. I can't believe that uh, somebody from Mexico is actually selling to uh, you know internationally, because uh, typically I buy from Japan. Japan's always down for like, oh yeah, we got some. Okay, hey, some American wants it. Yeah, sure. People from Mexico, they I, I almost never see them uh, selling on eBay, but, uh, Dreamcast stuff on, from Mexico, I got this, this is the Cha Cha Amigo controller, actually bought from Mexico, which is kind of like a Mexican thing, the, uh, maracas, so, yeah, what's up with these, well, they're third party, uh, they're not official release, uh, the little characters right here, like, as you can see, um, there was this old cartoon from, like, um, I don't know if it's Cartoon Network, but it's called Home Movies, and it was kind of, it looked like the Dr. Katz animation style, just kind of like, uh, you know, that kind of computer animation type stuff. Um, I, I just uh, remember that. And uh, so the artwork is interesting looking. It's cool. Um, not much to say. Uh, what I like about uh, these, I'm probably already showing you photos, right? But um, the maracas look cool. They're a little bit translucent. Um, now... It's getting kind of overcast. It was super sunny earlier, but uh, we're going to keep filming. Who cares? Um, there's little beads. Can you see? Can you see them like moving around? You probably can see a little bit, but there's little beads in there. Really cool. It's really kind of cool. I love translucent stuff, so translucent stuff's really dope. Hey, I look like, I look like Amigo. Um, but anyway, uh, so these feel really sturdy. They feel like they're good, uh, you know, quality and stuff, but I tried plugging these in and testing them out when I got them like a few days ago. I got this a uh, few days ago. Um, and I just couldn't get the controller to calibrate good or whatever. So I'm thinking that I found the problem. I took my Sega Dreamcast and instead of hooking it up to a, um, I want to say surge protector, but I just have it on like a um, one of those extension cables that you can plug multiple things in. So I took my Dreamcast and just plugged it into the wall directly. I got the TV hooked up to everything else. Everything's hooked into everything else. The uh, um, uh, you know the VGA adapters hooked up to that. So I got that going. Um, so hopefully there'll be enough power coming from the Dreamcast to the sensor bar to the maracas or whatever it works. But it's cool. Um, this does not come with an instruction booklet or like any kind of foam pieces. It just kind of came in loose in the box. But it's okay. I got the actual box. It's cool. Not complete in box, but pretty good. Um, this little piece right here, it's got like audio jacks on the sides. And this is an audio jack part. And uh, the little sensor piece, yeah, I mean, the audio jack thing is just kind of like, just a two-sided, you know, audio jack. I don't know what they're called, but that uh, just kind of goes in like that. And you just plug it in. It's cool. Um, yeah, so that's what that looks like. Very interesting. I kind of like that it's an alternative to the official one, you know, so... Yeah, I'm trying to just like plug in my stuff on camera um, just to do it. Um, but uh, it's such a hassle, man. Like I got like so many different Morocco pieces and I'm, I'm hoping that 
hooking the Dreamcast directly to the wall fixes the problem because I couldn't get this thing to work. Now, every maraca is the same. There is no such thing as a left or right maraca because it, if you pl plug in a right maraca in air quotes into the left side, it's going to just count it as the left side maraca. So, I mean, like, they're the same is all I'm saying. So, um, yeah, it feels a little bit smudgy when you're trying to plug it in. Like, you don't get that, like, satisfying click or anything when you plug anything in. Uh, it's just kind of like, I don't know, just kind of like, doesn't really give you an indication that it's in there good. Like, it kind of just slides in there, and I kind of wish there was, like, some sort of, I don't know, when you plug in, like, the main thing on the Dreamcast, it just kind of, like, clicks in. I like that satisfying clickiness. So... Now, there's no guarantee that this is going to work at all. And, uh, yes, Gollum Cone, uh, he asked if I would review these once I get these, because I indicated that I had these. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm doing now. But um, right off the bat, I'm going to say just get the official ones. They're probably better. And uh, uh, this is embarrassing. My room is messy, but I don't care. I'm going to try to get a good uh, um, vantage point and show you me playing the game. I'm not sure how I'm going to rig this up to make it just uh, completely cool, but we're going to figure something out. It's a little bit uh, stressful when you, you know, you're know you dealing with a limited space and you got just a bunch of stuff splayed out. So let's uh, see if these work. I hope that they can calibrate good, um, but it's kind of a headache to own. I mean, when it comes to like Dreamcast peripherals, I would say hands down, Maracas of any sort is just stressful. It's a party game, and it's like you want to love it. You 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 have fun. I mean, the official maracas worked pretty good for me. I had fun for what that's worth. But um, I don't know, guys. Um, yeah, just overall, just trying to track down maracas, trying to get like second sets and stuff. It's too much hassle. It's just too much hassle. It's just uh, it's not even. A, I mean, I'm a completionist, and I want to get as much as I can when it comes to Dreamcast related stuff. But um, don't don't even just don't even not even once. Don't don't, don't do it. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's try to get some good uh vantage point here. Yeah, I'm not really proud of my setup. <laughs> not really ready for prime time just yet. But hey, you know we got it. Uh, let's try to get the uh, actual screen on monitor. Can you see that a little bit better? Maybe a little bit, but hey, you can see me shaking a maraca. Uh, let's try to get this uh, calibrated. Now, let me just go ahead and say right off the bat, it probably might not do the. It might not do much. Let's press start. Yeah, it's it's just not doing it. It's just not doing it, man. These are not working. Now, if I hit start on the on the Dreamcast controller. It's not doing it. It sucks. It's like, it doesn't matter if I have it hooked into the wall or not. It just is not working. This is very unfortunate. And like, I, I kind of hate that it has to come to this, man. Like, the seller said that it was working, but it's just like, no, it, it's, it's not. So I'm just going to unplug it. Plug it back in. And I know the controller port works, too. I don't know, man. I'm, I might just try the connectors. Try to unplug it and plug it back in. I mean, they seem pretty pretty flush in there. Now, I wonder if the other sensor bar can work better, but um, I've tried to troubleshoot and stuff before, and I've taken the other sensor bar that I have and uh, tried to mix and match the other maracas that I have and uh, it's just a headache. It's just a headache. This is one of the more embarrassing reviews that I've had to do because I have to just eat humble pie, I guess, and just admit to you that uh, I got a faulty piece of machinery. This isn't the only piece of uh, equipment that I have that uh, doesn't work 100% effectively. But uh, let's try it one more time, right? says hit that start button and then you do and then nothing it's i don't know man just things are antiquated but um 
I got some like original hardware stuff that works great, you know. But Cha Cha Amigo controllers, Gollum Cone, get the original set. It's worth the extra money. It's worth the extra euros. Come on now. Yeah, it's just not doing it. So, I don't understand because I had one of them work and it was kind of halfway working there for a minute. Maybe it's because I got the, um, maybe it's because I'm playing on VGA. Maybe if I just play on like composite it'll work good, but that doesn't really explain anything because it worked on the, uh, you know, the better TV before. So, what do I give these? I give them a zero because it just doesn't work. You know? I'm sorry, guys. It just doesn't work. It's just, uh, I, I've had the official Maracas work better, and maybe down the road I'll get another official set. But this is a disappointment and a waste of money. And I wonder if international sellers are putting stuff on eBay because they know people like me are going to buy it. You know, and that sucks because they're taking advantage of good people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too terribly upset because I'm a collector, right? But, yeah, it's just disappointing. Just disappointing. But, um, yeah, zero out of ten, everybody. Do I recommend? Heck no, dude. Don't get the Cha-Cha Amigo controllers, man. Just uh, just don't. I mean, look, dude, it's just some some lame Mexican ripoff crap. It's just, I mean, dude, like, you can get a pair of real maracas and just shake them. Although these work pretty good, <laughs> just as a maraca, they shake. They got little uh, plastic beads in them and stuff. But um, yeah, man, just uh, just don't even bother, man. Just don't, just don't. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, for what it's worth. So you guys are awesome. You have a good one.